version. Well, it's kind of like a evolution. Bang! What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another Diamond Select figure review on the Sin City Movie Select Bloody Mar of San Diego Comic Con 2014 exclusive figure. If you're trying to get your Sin City Select figures, you can get them at Big Bad Toy Store. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Give a big thanks to Diamond Select Toys for making this review possible. Hey, check it out. Number 800 out of 1300. That's pretty cool. Limited quantity. Uh, check out their YouTube channel. They got updates going on all the time over there with DST Zach. So we got the San Diego Comic-Con logo right over there. Then on the side, we get a picture of Marv. And then there's a picture of Bloody Marv right over there on the back. Then there's a bio. If you want to go ahead and read that, pause it now. Okay, let's get to it and crack this figure open. So here's Bloody Marv out of the packaging. And this figure is sick, man. I especially really like this variant edition with the blood all over him. It just looks so badass. And there's a lot of paint detail in this, even though it's a black and white figure. It's kind of funny. I really like it a lot. And he does come with a lot of accessories. So here's the base, which I think is awesome. I really like how the pipe looks over here. It comes in two pieces and you just connect it. It disconnects pretty easily. There's nothing going on in the back. The details on this thing, look at that. That pipe has all kinds of gunk all over it and everything. I love how the bricks came out too. This is just awesome. Really, really digging all the paint sculpt on this. Got the gutter right over there. A bottle, broken bottle. Then a little rat looking pretty cool and even the floor on this it comes with two pegs sticking out to support the Mar figure but even the floor and the cracks in the concrete looks great get this gas can right over here that's only really good for him holding it in his left hand with two fingers like that which is a little weird but it works and he also comes with this hatchet which is really cool I like the color variation and it fits into his hand okay he doesn't really hold it too well he holds Gladys much better but it'll stay there it's just if you shake it enough it'll fall out and then here's a look at Gladys and she looks great sculpted very well and I like how the colors look on this. It really reminds me of the comic a lot. And this fits into his hand perfectly fine. So his right hand is really sculpted so that he can hold Gladys. And there you go. It's a little tricky getting the finger through the trigger hole right there. For me, that works. Now I really like the head sculpt on this figure a lot. I love the paint apps as well. I love this red. This is such a cool idea for a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. I really like it a lot. I'm really digging the sculpt in the face. They even gave him darker lip tones and everything. I like the variances of grays that we have in here. I, I just think this is a very cool looking figure. Just really digging this head sculpt and the blood all over the place is just really cool too. I'm really feeling this a lot. Yeah, some nice detail in the hair as well. It came out looking really nice. And to compare the Mickey Rourke Marv compared to the comic version from the legendary comic book heroes from Toy Biz, uh, you can see the difference right there. Comic version Marv and movie Marv. And, you know, I think they did a pretty good job with this movie overall, really, capturing the likenesses of the characters from the comics. And I like the sculpt and paint on the rest of the figure as well. Again, loving this blood. And it's kind of hard to see, but there is some paint in the creases of his tank top over there. You can kind of see it on certain sections. It looks great. You can see the cross over there. The trench coat looks really good. See how well the hand is sculpted with some wrinkles on the finger. I think this hand gesture is a little weird on the left hand, but not a big deal. Looking at the back of the coat just looks awesome. It's a fine looking coat you have there. I think this is sick. You can even see the paint detail in this. I love that, man. You can see the variety of color right here on the inside of the trench coat, and it's made out of a somewhat pliable material. The pants look pretty cool too, nice wrinkles and everything, and I really dig the boots as well. You got some nice laces on there, and then the bottom of the feet, he does have peg holes. Can't really move his head up that much, but it does move up just a little bit. It does move down more so, and it rotates side to side, and you get some neck pivot in there. He has shoulders that move outward. They can move down pretty far. He has some bicep swivel. He has a single jointed elbow. He rotates at the elbow, the wrist swivel swivel side to side. He has a diaphragm joint that rotates side to side. It has some diaphragm pivot and it crunches forward and back. You also get a waist swivel over here, which I think is great. The hip joints can move out that much, which isn't too bad. They can kick forward a reasonable amount. He has this mid thigh swivel, a single jointed knee, which I think could have been bent in more. It would be nice to see this bend in more. And then he has angles that move down and up just a little bit and a beautiful ankle Vivid. Being a select figure, Marv stands at about seven and a half inches tall. And here's our select movie Marv compared to the legendary comic book heroes comic book version of Marv. Then here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Cyclops. So I gotta say, I totally recommend this figure. I really love what Diamond Select has done here. If you can't get a hold of this STCC exclusive, get the black and white version. But I think what they've done is great. I really like the articulation a lot. I really love the sculpt and the paint apps. I just think it's an awesome figure. As a Sin City fan, I think they're must-gets. I really do. I really like them a lot. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, hit the like button, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and check out ToyNewsEye.com for the latest in action figure news. I will catch you guys later. Peace.
display gave it a spark. Welcome to articulated comic book art. That's crispy. It's awesome. I really like how this. Damn it. <laughs>